very welcome back to the show. Now, our next guest has been the acting coach to Hollywood A-listers like Streep, Brando and Willis. He's also the man who helped Heath Ledger come up with the iconic Joker in The Dark Knight. Uh, not bad from a boy from Dublin. Jerry Grinnell, you're very welcome to us. Good to see Great you, Great to have you here. Yeah, thanks for now, I have to say, on. 10 years since the great and very, very young, 28-year-old Heath Ledger passed away. I actually can't believe it. Um, he, he was amazing. Yeah, he was extraordinary. Wasn't he? Very talented, yes. yeah. When yeah. did you first meet him? Uh, we met on... Uh, I was shooting a picture with Johnny Depp in Prague. Uh, it was called From Hell. And uh, Heath was working in the same town on his, uh, on his picture, uh, Nice Tale. Mm. And he Which came is to also set. One, it was a nice film, that actually. It was a fun, yeah, fun was movie, yes, yeah. yes. And we met, we met during the shoot of both both movies. Okay. Let's bring you back, though, becoming a voice coach. You were a musician. Yes. And you developed from there. Because did you get tendonitis or something? Yes, RSI. It was known then yeah. as a, a repetitive strain injury. And um, from it, it's quite common with with actors yeah. as well with voice. They they yeah. lose their voices from from overuse. And how did you then become a voice coach? I know, it's crazy, isn't it's, it? And I just uh, have to <laughs> get this into my head. Well, uh, at, at the time, uh, I didn't, I didn't uh, have any other training. I was a mm. musician. And uh, I was interested in theatre as well. So uh, we started up, I, I got involved in a, in, in a theatre company called Wet Paint Theatre Company back in the day. And uh, David Byrne was, uh, the director David Byrne was, uh, was the man who started that, got involved in that. He was a friend of mine. Mm. And uh, I wrote the music and I did some work with uh, stage work and phonetic work and so on. Uh, did because you fall of, by accident though, did you? Did I which? Did you fall into the job by accident? Uh, in, in uh, well, uh, an accident, uh, <laughs> RSI was an accident. Yeah. Um, it was something that happened that I wasn't expecting. So I discovered Alexander Technique while I was in, yeah. in the... Uh, what in is that paint. exactly? Alexander technique. Yeah. It's it's really it's about how we use ourselves. And posture and all learn that how, as well. Yeah, I guess to some extent it will be about posture. Mm -hmm. It's about how we hold ourselves, how we use ourselves. Yeah, and how and how you use that then in acting. Is that is that? Yeah, a, so Alexander was yeah, an actor, yeah. and he lost his voice, and he discovered the, mm -hmm. his technique. Um, it took him seven years of of experimenting and so on. Yeah, and a lot to of the dancers technique. use it as well, and a lot the of breathing dancers. and all that. So anyway, you're in Hollywood, Heath Ledger. I know you worked with Merle Streep as well. That was mm. on Dancing with Luna. So, so right. did you work on the accent as well as the voice and dialect uh, and all the that? The dialects and accents. Um, sometimes I work on accents. Sometimes I work on voice. Sometimes I, uh, I'm, I'm an acting coach. But generally, acting coaching is is what I do. Yeah. And how, how, does it, how does it exactly work then? Do you spend a lot of time with this person? Do you go over lines? How does it work? Um, well, it's, you, first you get a script and you read the yeah. script and you analyse the script. I mean, it, from the acting point of view, from a, an acting yeah. and a character point of mm. view. And then, you, anal, you know, I would analyse from my perspective what, what my impression of that uh, character or the story might be and then basically chat about it. Yeah. And then come up with ideas. What do you think this person might be like? What do you think reasons for saying what you might say? So on and so forth. And then it develops and you build on that. Yeah. It's a gradual thing. So It's quite gradual, yeah. yeah. It's just a slow process. Sienna Miller, who you worked with, she says, I worked with a very brilliant dialect coach, Jerry Grenell. She said that she was shooting Casanova with Heath, Heath Ledger. Ledger yeah, Lots right, of yeah. praise. Merle Streep as well was on about how there's so many generic, um, a generic accent that people think is Irish in America, but it's much more difficult. And you helped her achieve... The fact that they all think we're like Bigara and all that nonsense, and the fact that you mm. helped her helped her achieve a, a proper Irish accent. Yeah, well, I'd like to think that she achieved a proper accent. Yeah, she says you that. Know, but she it's did great. a pretty good yeah. job. Yeah, by, she uh, did. As did the rest of the cast. Somebody how to speak like an Irish person. Very. Yes. It's hard to teach anybody to teach to speak like uh, someone who uh, is from. Not from their yeah. uh, country, or you know, yeah. in English that is. When it, I, yeah. I was interested in reading was it Johnny Depp? Um, you worked with Johnny Depp as well on Alice in Wonderland, and uh, you decided on his accent. How, how did you work on that accent? Because it was a very dramatic character. Uh, well, he he played the Mad Hatter. He yeah. played the Hatter. Uh, actually, Johnny wanted to do eleven accents. He had he had in mind he wanted to do eleven because he, his take on the character was that uh, he was schizophrenic or he was, yeah. he was, he was quite mad, uh, as hatters were back in the day. <laughs> hence the name. Yes, hence yeah. the name. 
And uh, we finally whittled it down to a handful, three accents. Yeah. And uh, he has a little bit of Irish in there as well. We threw that in for a laugh. He's a complicated character, I'd say. Uh, yeah. He's co yes, yeah. yes. He's been Complex. here a, a good few times, though, because I think he's, he's friends with Shane McGowan. Yeah, so he, he, he did over a, a good bit as well. But just back to Heath Ledger. Uh, this is a piece from I Am Heath Ledger, 2017. The documentary. And you, and you yeah. helped him out with this. We are tonight's entertainment. I only have one question. Where is Harvey Dent? And he did it on his own in a makeup trailer. And it was very simple. All it was is just like a wash of white pancake makeup and some smear of red lips. I was sure he was in there for days getting that face on. <laughs> <laughs> So he, it's he, funny, his... it's, it's uh, fantastic, it was yeah. a fantastic job. But his voice mm -hmm. was, was so different in that. Very particular, yeah. yeah wasn't yeah. it very particular? Yeah. So you obviously worked to create, I think, probably an older man's voice? Yeah, well, how Heath worked was through voice. He, he worked on his characters through voice. Um, hence the, the voice coach thing and the acting coach thing. Mm. But we spent a lot of time working on the voice, trying to find a voice. Um, but we'd go through, we would have gone through a lot of different um, ideas and different kind of personalities and how those voices, how those personalities yeah. um, are manifest in voice and so on. And ju just before you shoot a scene like that, then are you with him right up until the second or do you have to leave him go off and get into his own space? Or how? Well, um, I, would, I would spend a lot of time, particularly on this show, uh, we spent a lot of time together and when we were in London, uh, we lived in the same apartment. Um, and then on Parnassus after that show, we lived in the same apartment. So you got uh, on really well with him. You were a very good friend of his we were at the good end, friends, probably. Yes, very it good must friend. have been devastating when he passed it was, away. For you. It was shocking. It, yeah. was, it was tragedy. Mm -hmm. it was far too young, 28 years of age. 28 and so many more years left in him. Yeah, yeah and you know. a 10 year anniversary during the week. We were reading it here before we went on one of the days. We just couldn't believe it. Yeah. 10 years ago. It's insane, isn't yeah. it? Do you think, you know, we read so many things, uh, I mean, especially if you're interested in Heath Ledger and, and his acting and all that, you know, for so young, uh, great achievements and yet a lot to come. Um, he spoke a lot himself in interviews about how he was an insomniac and it was probably his brilliance that his brain couldn't relax. Did he talk he to you about a, those things? Yes, a lot, yeah. Um, in, in his last days, we, we spent time... Uh, doing a lot of Alexander technique, trying to get yeah. him to sleep. To chill, yeah. to relax. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a total mistake. I mean, I don't believe for one minute that he wanted to go. Not at all. No, mm -hmm. that was not, not He was just trying to get us a night's sleep. He had so much, so much, so much planned. He was, we were going to open a school, for goodness sake. Really? In, in uh, New York. Yeah. Um, similar to the one in Dublin that we have. Tell us about know, the one in Dublin, Dublin now, by the way. Bow Street. Yeah. Um, that's, that, was, that was started uh, in, down at the old uh, Bowling Mills, that, that yeah. area down in, on, uh, Historic area. Yeah. in Dublin. Mm -hmm. um, and it was called the Factory at the time. And it was started with um, uh, Kirsten Sheridan, uh, uh, Lance Daly and uh, John Carney. They started it. Yeah. And then I came in. Um, a year after they began, and I developed a program for them. To, yeah. to and what age kids go there? We take uh, young kids in uh, for the young persons program, and then we have uh, we have the first year program, we have a second year program. It's and all we acting have and all program. that. Kids. Screen acting. Yeah. How excited for all those kids when you start uh, name dropping around them? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, well, I forget most of the names. <laughs> you're, you're a very good person. You probably were never intimidated by any of those people. No, Jerry, right. thank Jerry, you so thank much you for coming much. to us. My yeah. pleasure. Best, Thanks for having me. Best of luck. Best luck in the future. Brilliant. We're going to put thank all you. those details mm -hmm. of the Bow Street Project onto our Facebook page, RTE Today.